For our third example, we will create a pivot table again to view data from an event program and an aggregated data set together. The Data Visualizer app allows us to do this. In this table, we want to look at the number of malaria cases and total population, so we can understand the incidence of malaria in each district. All three items in this table will be of different types. The number of malaria cases is a program indicator, as we are getting that information from the Malaria Case Management Event Program. The total population is a data element that is entered into the aggregate data set Primary Health Care Yearly. And the malaria incidence is a combined indicator. As mentioned in the introduction, combined indicators allow us to combine data from an event or tracker program with data from the aggregate domain. In this example, the combined indicator uses the number of malaria cases as the numerator and the population as the denominator. The incidence is also given per 10,000 people so the numerator and denominator are multiplied by 10,000 after being divided. This is a really powerful feature of DHIS2, as data from any model can potentially be combined and compared depending on the system's requirements. This also means that you can combine data that are being collected using different methods in order to derive aggregate totals. For example, if you are piloting the event model as a method of data collection in a subset of facilities while continuing aggregate collection in others, you can combine these data together to calculate overall totals. To create the pivot table, we first need to open a new visualization. Then select the chart type as pivot table. In the data selector for the data type, choose program indicators, select the program malaria case management, and then malaria cases. Next, select the data type as data elements. And the data element group, primary health care yearly, and then total population. Finally, select the data type as indicators, and the indicator group as malaria, and then malaria case incidence per 10,000. Click on Hide. For the period dimension, select Fixed Periods, and then the period type as Yearly, and then select 2019 from the available list. Make sure you deselect last 12 months as well. Then click on Hide. For the organization unit dimension, ensure training land is selected in the hierarchy tree, and then use the Level option to select Districts. Click on Hide to close the organization unit selector. Now let's update the layout to ensure we are viewing the data so we can compare by district. Move the periods to the report filter and the organization units to the rows. Then click Update. Just to make sure we understand exactly what is being shown, Pick a district and take the numerator, 
which is malaria cases, divided by the denominator, which is population data, and multiply by 10,000 to get the malaria incidence per 10,000 people. This should match the incidence in the table. Before we begin our final example, please take a moment to create the pivot table in example three as listed out in this unit's activities. 